Trump asks Supreme Court to intervene in presidential immunity appeal. Former President Donald Trump asked the Supreme Court Monday to intervene in his bid to dismiss his election interference case based on presidential immunity. The D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled last week that Trump is not immune from prosecution in the case brought by special counsel Jack Smith, but held off on issuing the mandate until Monday to allow time for Trump to ask the Supreme Court to step in. Trump's request for the Supreme Court to pause the mandate while he files his appeal of the ruling means his trial, which District Court Judge Tanya Chutkin paused pending the former president's appeal, will be further delayed. Related. Federal Appeals Court rejects Trump's immunity bid. Trump's trial was scheduled for March 4, but Chutkin vacated the date early in February, noting the court would set a new schedule if and when the mandate is returned. Chutkin rejected Trump's bid to dismiss his case based on presidential immunity in December. When he appealed, she paused proceedings in the case. Smith sought to keep the trial on schedule in December by asking the Supreme Court to take up the question before the appeals court had a chance to consider it, but the justices rejected his request. The D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals heard oral arguments in January, which Trump attended. During the hearing, Judge Florence Pan, a Biden appointee, questioned Trump's attorney about whether his immunity argument would allow a president to order SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival. Without facing criminal charges, for the purpose of this criminal case, former President Trump has become Citizen Trump, with all of the defenses of any other criminal defendant. But any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him against this prosecution the panel wrote in the February 6 ruling. Former President Trump lacked any lawful, discretionary authority to defy federal criminal law and he is answerable in court for his conduct. All content created by the Daily Caller News Foundation, an independent and nonpartisan newswire service, is available without charge to any legitimate news publisher that can provide a large audience. All republished articles must include our logo, our reporters' byline and their DCNF. Affiliation. For any questions about our guidelines or partnering with us, please contact licensing at dailycollarnewsfoundation.org.